Osterine. None of the needles, but only half the gains. Maybe. Let's talk about it. First things first. SARMs, selective androgen receptor modulators, are like steroids' trendy younger cousins. They selectively target androgen receptors in muscle and bone, and in theory, spare your prostate, hairline, and other organs. Osterine, aka Novosarm, was developed by GTX Pharmaceuticals in the late 90s to prevent muscle wasting in cancer patients. In theory, that's great. Less muscle loss, better quality of life. Unfortunately, outcomes weren't good enough to bring it to market, and it was subsequently consigned to the research compound graveyard. But recently, Osterine is back on the scene with fresh clinical trials in combination with semaglutide. This has shown promising results for reducing muscle atrophy even during periods of profound GLP-1-induced fat loss. But before you get too excited, Despite the hype, Osterine is nowhere near as anabolic as traditional steroids or even testosterone itself. Sure, you'll see some modest strength and muscle gains, but at clinically relevant doses, about 1 to 18 milligrams, it's mild at best. Now, in the PED space, guys will often crank that dose up to 25 milligrams a day or more, far beyond studied doses. And at those levels, side effects can kick in with a vengeance. Think suppressed natural testosterone, compromised fertility, and altered lipids. In fact, the risks start looking very similar to traditional anabolic steroids, but with far less reward. And unlike testosterone, which is typically pharmaceutical grade, SARMs purchased online are notoriously contaminated. Anecdotally, some of the most messed up patients I've treated are guys who bought SARMs off some sketchy website and ended up permanently wrecking their natural testosterone and androgen receptor production. Hot take, I'd rather take care of someone who's a former trend fiend than deal with another SARMs victim whose HPG axis has been permanently wrecked by contaminants. Bottom line, pharma-grade Osterine is mildly effective at clinical doses, moderately effective at higher doses, but still comes with serious lipid changes, T suppression, fertility risks, unknown long-term side effects, and a nasty risk of contamination when purchased online. So if you're thinking about trying SARMs, just don't. That's Osterine. No needles, but less gains, more unknowns, and more contamination. Choose wisely.